السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to Hasibul Chronics Friends, in the repair of SMPS I receive many comments My friends face problems while repairing the SMPS So let's discuss Most of the questions are related to the feedback circuit and the output First of all, we have to understand the phenomena of switching how the switching is done and how the system sends the output voltage and how it regulates the voltage we will see some examples from the main voltage 320 volt positive 25 volt positive we have one main capacitor and if we see we have one resistor and we have one capacitor that is the VCC capacitor for the PWM controller when the PWM does not start the work this capacitor charge slowly through this resistor and after that the PWM starts soft switching why because that time it does not have the full VCC voltage first of all the capacitor main capacitor will charge through the bridge rectifier and it will start maintaining through this RC network due to time constant because it is 8 mega ohm resistor and here are 325 volt so it will start charging this capacitor and this capacitor will charge linearly so when this PWM controller have voltage less voltage at this level I can say it have 5 volts pulse so it will start a soft switching it will start slow switching when it will start its first cycle through pin number 5 to this MOSFET and MOSFET will switch and the current flow will start from this primary and it will cause the induction of voltage in secondary and the same time we have some voltage in auxiliary winding in the feedback winding this will this voltage these auxiliary winding voltage or feedback winding voltage will come to this diode and this diode will rectify them and these rectify voltage through this 18 ohm resistor will charge this capacitor so here we have 8 mega ohm resistor and here we have this 18 ohm resistor so we will take voltage from this and this voltage will stable this low current voltage will start linearly limited charging but this voltage will charge this VCC capacitor and this IC will have VCC voltage the same time we have rectified voltage from this area and this rectified voltage will go to this voltmeter section to the sense circuit and it will apply a feedback si signal to this IC so this IC will limit his pulse width modulation at a specific limit specific interval in any case this system fails to receive a feedback it will apply full pulse width to receive the feedback it will waiting for feedback so it will start full switching and when it will start full switching it will take the full current the resultant the voltage in the input area will decrease when it will decrease then it will decrease the switching and after that the input voltage will maintain and when it will maintain this will again switch at the full rate and it will waiting for the feedback feedback is missing in that case it will apply full pulse and the, when it will apply a full current the same time we have excessive voltage in the VCC so this IC will apply a full pulses and it, it does not have the feedback so our voltage level will varying so we have 
fluctuation in the output. In the optocoupler, we have problem in the sense circuit, we have problem in the output area, we will feel this problem. If our VCC capacitor is fail, it have short circuit inside or it cannot store the voltage. So when it will not store the voltage, it will also make the same problem. The first problem, one. First problem. Second problem, this. Third problem, the sense circuit. Fourth problem, the output circuit. In any area we have problem, we have fluctuation in the output. If we have circuit like this, bridge rectifier in the output, there is 130 kilo ohm resistor that is charging this capacitor. So this capacitor initially charged from this main voltage because this resistor is very heavy, high value so it will cause to allow a limited charging because due to RC time constant the capacitor is total 100 microfarad or 47 microfarad so resistor value is high so it will cause to slow charging same time this IC will start switching when it will start switching so we will have feedback voltage here we have VCC voltage that will be regulated on this pin and this circuit will continue switching if our this resistor is problematic PWM controller may not start if this capacitor is bad we have problem if this resistor is bad we have problem if this diode is short we have problem if the transformer have problem it is very in very rare cases or we have problem in capacitor this will generate more voltage in the pulses so these pulses will cause to induce full rate switching so that will cause to fluctuation in output voltage 220k resistor 2 watt this resistor is connected to this capacitor this capacitor and this capacitor we see it will charge and it will give initially it will give VCC voltage when this VCC voltage will apply at that time this IC will start soft start soft start when it will soft start that time we will take feedback voltage through this area this resistor and it will charge the capacitor D2 diode and D2 diode will charge this capacitor and we will take feedback at VCC at VCC pin so if we have any pin short any area short in the output area this will cause to full rate switching because soft start running restart restart or recovery soft start it is this phase is started when we connect the power and there is no switching before that there is no switching it does not have any voltage in this capacitor because we don't have any output any input in this transformer that time this area is silent this area is silent so it will charge through this resistor it will charge through this resistor when this resistor will charge slowly this capacitor and it will start slowly because this time this capacitor is started charging when it is starting it is charging it is not fully charged the same time this capacitor is not fully charged so this PWM controller will start soft start for a very limited time of period so when these voltage will reach at this capacitor it will go to switching at a standard level so anytime the voltage will drop increase or decrease so it will change its pulse width modulation if any time this feedback is missing this feedback is missing why if we have any short circuit in this area if any component is bad if any component is open so this feedback will miss when this feedback will miss this IC will go to restart option first soft start 
then the system is in off condition and we applied power and it started charging when it will start charging it is in start soft start then running and if any time feedback fail or vcc voltage fail it will go in a restart option when restart option it will apply full rate switching y because the main capacitor is charged fully the vcc capacitor is charged because that time it is charged from this voltage and when there is a missing feedback that time the recovery voltage are also available so it will charge full when it will charge full it will cause to full rate switching so we have fluctuation in the output if any time we are missing this resistor we are facing problem in the vcc capacitor we are facing in the optocoupler in the feedback circuit in the output circuit our circuit will apply fluctuation let's see, see practically i have 4.9 volt in the output area this time our system is working properly in this in this condition i have a regulated voltage at the feedback input of the optocoupler we can see we have a constant switching if any time I have a problem in the output area in that case we can see our series lamp is fluctuating and we have to we have to check the pulses of pulse width modulator we can see it is switching at the full rate we can see we have problem in the optocoupler this time I am taking 5 volt in the output if I have fail in optocoupler check the multimeter we have fluctuation the system is not getting the good feedback if we have problem in the capacitor so in this case we have to understand the phenomena of the feedback if feedback is missing feedback have problem we cannot take the proper output to separate the output from the input we have an option sometimes it, it becomes very difficult to locate the problem where is the exact problem in the input or in the output so for that I removed the optocoupler the output end which is connected to the hot side pin number 34 I removed it take any one diode any one which one you have does not matter locate the main capacitor negative terminal this one inside it is negative terminal so negative terminal come here negative terminal is here connect the cathode of the diode the bar side of the diode to the negative terminal just I connect it I will show you locate the negative terminal this capacitor is positive and this end is negative so negative end connect the cathode to negative end and the positive side to the other end of optocoupler optocoupler is removed now we installed the diode in place of optocoupler this time we bypassed the output section we remove the output section I am taking 7.7 .7 volts I connected this diode in this way we can find where is the problem if the input area is good if the input area is good that time we will find some regulated voltage we will not find fluctuation so fluctuation 
if this time we don't have fluctuation maybe I am suppose if here is a short circuit and I am taking just 2 or 3 volt and the short component will get heat up within few seconds because this time the system is injecting full power and in this way you can troubleshoot the component very quickly the faulty component will get heat up within few seconds just only you can say two or three seconds and you can find the bad component quickly if we don't have any fluctuation with this diode that means the hot is hot side the inverter side that is okay we have to troubleshoot in the output area after connecting this diode if we have still fluctuation that means the output area is good we have to check the inverter section so for inverter section first of all we have to go to this capacitor this capacitor is VCC capacitor for the IC I am taking 22 volt if this capacitor is open from inside if this capacitor is open from inside I cannot find some voltage maybe sometime I will find fluctuation if it is short I cannot find anything this time this capacitor is good I am taking voltage if this capacitor is short I will I will not find any voltage I will find zero voltage I will find zero volt and if this capacitor is open sometime we will find a very less voltage and sometime if this capacitor is not fully short it has sparking inside its internal value the capacitance is decreased so in that way it will not fully charged and it will not provide a good backup so in that way we will find fluctuation if this capacitor is open and it cannot store the charge in that case some pulse width modulators will give some output some ICs they will give some output now the IC have some voltage here because the main voltage are capacitor through connected through this resistor to the positive side through, through this resistor R2 resistor to this capacitor but and these voltage the positive voltage are connected here but it cannot provide a amount of required current to this IC so it cannot power on some ICs maybe some ICs will give output but in that case the output will not regulate it and we will find fluctuation in the output capacitor positive terminal and before NTC we have one resistor this resistor is a red brown yellow two one four zeros 210k 210 kilo ohm resistor so 210 kilo ohm resistor is very big amount so it cannot fulfill the requirement of the current for this IC so it need a capacitor to hold the charge and this capacitor will assist to compensate the current requirement of this IC in this way we can find where is the problem exactly for testing you can replace the optocoupler so I connected the optocoupler and I got 4.9 volt so I think this video is good for you if it is good you can like subscribe and share if you want press bell icon button for my future notifications assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh